All right, guys, and we are back. So last episode, we went through the first few levels, and now we're on Minion. So this guy won last year's contest. Last year. Well, doesn't matter. Billy something. I got confused with the words, so yeah. All right. So but basically what this one is, um, we have to go and destroy his paneling. And uh, oh man, Minion always has a, like a weird kind of memory for me, uh, mainly due to the fact that um, one of my, uh, well this one viewer, I'm not going to say one of my viewers because he's not really a viewer of mine anymore I would imagine, but he was saying that um, this that Minion was one of the toughest bosses in the game, uh, mainly due to the fact of how his like, force field is and all that, and that I was being cheap because I was using cheat codes, and it was just stupid. When I passed out in my truck, I dreamed about the farm. I guess I must have been thinking back to the day when everything went wrong. I remember it so well. We was two weeks from harvest. I was checking out the crop when I heard this noise up in the air. There were no dust on schedule that afternoon. I hollered for the guy to stop, but it just kept coming. I didn't know what was happening at first. I couldn't breathe, and my heart was beating so fast, thank the Lord, I passed out real quick. I thought I was dead. I must have been out for hours, and when I woke up, well, my God, what had happened to me? My first thought was to get home to Annie. She was real smart. She'd figure out what to do. But when I got there, I guess she'd already figured out something else. I heard them laughing, talking about how they'd go the next week, try to collect the life insurance. Everything hurt. My face, my mind, my heart. I remember grabbing for the closest thing I could find. I just lost it. I'd hunt that pilot down sooner or later. But for now, it was strictly between me and Anne. I've been hitting Annie's body for well over an hour. You couldn't even tell who she was no more. There's a man out there took my wife and turned me into a freak. When I win this contest, he's gonna pay for what he done. All right, so that pretty much goes and explains a bit more of the character that is Billy Ray or Junkyard Dog. And going back to a little previous story I was going on, to make a long story short, he was basically just saying that I was being cheap because I was using cheat codes. And like I said, cheat codes are only there to help me out for commentating, and that's it. All right, so going to go save, and yada, yada, yada. But... Yeah, it really just seems that, uh, they, well, I kind of explained it there, but for those of you that still don't kind of get it, basically he he was supposed to die in the crop dusting, but it didn't really it happened. My poor sweet Annie, I don't blame her no more. It was that damn pilot that done steered her wrong. So, yeah, pretty much it was the pilot and her plotting to go and kill him, get life insurance out of it. And, yeah, but he ended up surviving, and he's just trying to go and kill the pilot and get his revenge. Which is all perfectly fine and dandy. A lot of the stuff in here is actually for revenge. A lot of the characters actually just do this stuff for revenge. So, that's just how it goes. And let's see here, go and destroy these people. And let's see here, go and kill him. God damn it, they always freeze me. Never, never really go and freeze them back, which I really should, actually. Now that I think about it. Alright, alright, and let's see, go through here. But, yeah, yeah. Let's see here, where the hell is he? There he is. Alright, man, slaughter got destroyed, and where are you at? There you are. And there we are. Okay, so now it opens up the rest of the boat, and as you guys remember about the boat area, uh, until the boat reaches the harbor, we cannot, um, well, not the harbor, but the prison, 
we cannot get off the boat, so if I kill these people quickly, I end up having to wait quite a long time until the boat gets into uh, the prison. So, let's see here, go and get Shadow first. Let's see here, come on. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so there we are. Oop, uh, there we are. And there we are. That kind of worked out, actually. So, let's see, the prison, we're almost there because the drawbridge is coming up. So, yeah, in the meantime, let me go and entertain you guys with a bit of a little spectacle that can happen. So basically, there's those guys in the electric chair, and there's a little fuse box right there where I'm shooting. So basically, all you really have to do is just go and destroy this thing if it wants to get destroyed. Alright, and there we are. And as you guys can see, it goes and electrocutes them. Again, showing this in another episode, but kind of thought I'd go over again. Because we're on the come up of the return, of course. So now we're just having to wait now until these next ones go. So in the meantime, let's just go and look around the map and see what we can find. And for those of you that were wondering, am I ever going to be doing a run without cheat codes? Um, yes, I'm actually planning on doing the minion run. Because minion is the final character you unlock. And the only way to unlock him is you have to go and play through the whole entire game with every single character. So if you don't go and do that, then you're not going to be able to get him. And yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. So you kind of end up having to go and um, just kind of uh, go through every single character, which was something I was going to do anyways, but it kind of just makes sense now because, well, it's the way to unlock a final character. And he's actually pretty cool. Uh, his attack, his special attack's pretty similar to um, how Warthog's is, but I think it can actually shoot like fireballs out of it, like out of the flamethrower. So it makes it kind of cool. I guess, because Warthog has his own flamethrower, but he has a different kind of, uh, just, like, I think his is just, like, a, like, just a stream of it, so, okay, now I'm just getting, like, freaking gang raped, alright, come on, let's go, alright, take out these dudes, okay, so, come on, alright, blimp attack, yada, 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 okay, so, uh, let's see here, choose ricochet, choose ricochet, there we are, we are. Alright, let's see here. And power. And let's see. Come on, Outlaw. You can't be running away from me. There we are. Alright, and wow, Outlaw was the only one? Damn. I did not realize there was only a few characters. Alright, so let's just continue on and get through this. Alright, so yada 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 yada. Saving up. Okay, and Snowy Road's a driving movie. I'd rather choose Snowy Roads for now, and then in the next episode we'll go and choose all the other little stages. And yeah, we'll continue on that little trend. This arena is tight as death, but I'll get through it. Gotta bring Flyboy down to Earth. See, I cannot get his accent down, so I can't really go and read it in his kind of voice. So apologies for that, but you know, at least I'm actually reading them this time. Alright, and let's see here. Spectre got destroyed. Alright, there we are. But, actually, uh, let's see, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, um, the whole damage characteristics of these characters, of course, the, uh, like, the bigger the car and the more, like, kind of, uh, armor it has, it'll, like, it'll survive a bit longer. Uh, this one is actually one of the beginner cars. Um, like, it's actually the first one on the list. So, if you want a good basic car, just try off this game. If you haven't played it out, try out this one. Uh, as you see Mr. Grimm right here, he is merely the motorcycle. He is the one with the slowest speed, but he has the high amount of damage and a good amount of speed and handling. So he is actually a very good car if you're uh, kind of advanced. And I started off with him on the on the series. Again, saying this because you know some people have not seen the whole series. But yeah, he's actually a good car. And um, let's see here, we got Roadkill right here. Roadkill is another good car to uh, try out as. He has pretty much everything basic. He has a good amount of speed, a good amount of damage. So he is um, hes pretty much kind of a uh, max, well not max, but he's kind of uh, leveled out on stats. Uh, Yellow Jacket, I think he's good on speed and turning, but not so much on armor. But there's something else about him, I don't quite remember. But every little car has their own little like, quirks and all that. Uh, you guys can see when you go through the menu all their little stats and what they can do or not. So let's continue on. And let's see, here you go through this. And there we are. 
and then we'll probably go and end it with Warhawk and then go and see the ending on that so let's see here go on to the next level abandoned skyscrapers yep this is the one right before Warhawk so I'll pretty much go and end it on there Jesus so many rooftops fall off of with my truck I can probably push half these cars to their death yeah See, I cannot, like, for some reason now I can't read when I'm doing these. So, that's fucking stupid. But yeah, uh, pretty much uh, rooftop area. Very easy to get knocked out or like that. And yeah, um, let's see. This one is actually one of the levels I can actually die in and get my lives taken off because of the mere falls. But pretty much just going to go and destroy these people. I can always play it cheap and not move and just stay in one spot and whatever and do this kind of thing. But that's a bit too boring for me. I actually like moving around a bit, trying to get these enemies a bit confused and all that. So let's see here. Luckily there was a border right there that I can actually stop on. So let's see here. The other thing I like to do is just go through here. And uh, it's actually the church area. But if you're really looking for a spot to kind of hide out in when you're playing this one, uh, this is a great spot right here. Uh, the enemies will still be coming in and there's not as many uh, places you can fall off of. And right there, if you fall off, there's not uh, many areas that will take you out. I think there's actually a little force field behind there that, yeah, as you guys can see right there, all the little lightning and stuff. Um, it'll actually save you from falling all the way over there, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. So let's see here, no environment, uh, ricochet, Oop. what am I doing that? There we are. And power missile. Okay, let's go through this way, and, ooh, shit. Okay, I am getting fucking bombarded now. I gotta step up my game. I'm never gonna be able to go like this. Alright, come on. Alright, come on, let's go this way. And there we are. Okay, so going through this way and alright, take out Brimstone. And Brimstone's freaking attack, I hate it. I really do. Whenever I get hit by it anyways. Alright, so we got two people left. So let's go around the map real quick. Get out of this area. I just kind of stayed there because they kept just bombarding me like with fucking attacks and Jesus get off of there man there we are alright so there we are and we can take out these uh... these little billboards right here there we are and I didn't take out the whole thing but hell it works I guess there we are so go through here alright you just gotta make sure you don't end up falling because you can always fall right there and it's freaking horrid Alright, so let's see here. Where is he at? There he is. Alright. And there we are, Mr. Grim. Always being a little douchebag. Okay. And of course, freezing me. Like they usually do. Alright, where are you at? Okay, so now they're trying to fight each other, but they're still trying to go after me, and I got hit. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see here. There we are. And, okay, not gonna quite get him. There we are. And, okay, Mr. Grim destroyed. Spectre, hello. There you are. Okay, so there we are. And now we're going to end up getting to Warhawk. And you guys are going to see who Warhawk is and how he handles. So let's go and continue on and see what else we're going to get into. Well, obviously Warhawk. You're in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. Funny thing is, you didn't even give us like a time to actually get out of our vehicle if we were going to. I can, res I respect the law, but I can't let the cops get in my way of me getting my revenge. And there we are. And the funny thing is, um, this is like no offense to any of the, like Michael Jackson fans or anything like that, but it does remind me of Michael Jackson, like just the way his face looks. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody else can agree with me on that. And as you guys can see, Warhawk does have a, uh, a force field also. He also shoots fucking massive amounts of fucking rockets. But what I ended up having to do, and this is what basically you had to do, is you have to go and... Ah, um, oh, fucking A, man. They always do this to me, too. So basically, you have to go and get these trucks over on here. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, you stupid fucking truck. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Get over here. There you are. Okay, seriously, truck, what the fuck are you doing, man? Basically, what you have to do is get the truck over, like, it's easier if you get them over to the launch pad, but, um, basically what you do is you go and have them be near the launch, well, yeah, the little launching pad where Warhawk will occasionally land to try to hit you, and, um, basically all you have to do is, when he's around, is, um, make sure you blow it up, 
and um, well, right next to Warhawk, so his shield will go and will get down. So once the shield gets down, you'll be just left with uh, Warhawk, you know, without a shield. And then you're just all you have to really go and do is just start launching missiles at him, which is really easy, but it takes some time and it it really just takes effort. All right, and there we are, and there we are. The shield just got destroyed now. So now we can easily go and do stuff like this and just launch specials or homing missiles or what have you. But he, he tends to do this kind of thing where he goes around the map and he'll just try to like do strafe runs and stuff like that. So what you really have to do is um, strategically go and actually get him while he's here. And there's different ways of doing it, but that was just one way I did it. I'd won the contest, and now it was my turn to collect. I went to see Calypso, and just as promised, he delivered the goods. I knew right from the start, he'd get me the revenge I was craving. When we went back to the farm, Calypso said he had a little surprise for me. Somehow, he'd done it. He'd found that bastard who made me kill Annie. Son of a bitch even brought his plane with him. Calypso said all I had to do to get my prize was step aboard. It was a one-way ticket to my heart's desire. That pilot was taking everything from me. It was right time he learned how it felt. It may have been only the second time I killed someone, but it felt so damn good. I think I was beginning to see my true calling. So I done gave up farming and moved into the city. In a place like that, well, who knows what kind of trouble an old redneck like me could get into. Ah! 